shampoo and conditioner. Now I know you're thinking, can I just use my Perk Plus or my, my, uh, my Suave or my, you know, oil of Olay? Nah, stay out your wife or your girlfriend's shampoo, get you a beard, shampoo and conditioner. What's going on fellas? My name is Charles. I'm one of your manhood journey coaches and I'm also a bearded brother. So today that's what we're going to be talking about. How to take care of your beard. So as you can see we've got an assortment of things on this table and I'm going to go one by one and let you know what they're used for and how they can help you get a better beard and be more manly. So very basics. You got shampoo and conditioner now the beauty is you only have to do this about two to three times a week and then we move on to the next step so i know you're seeing this thing back here and you're like charles what is this what is this thing now mine is a mine is the corded version but this is what we call a heated beard brush after you've washed and conditioned dry your beard enough plug it in let it heat up and then you just go right on through what this is going to help you do is get all the tangles out of your beard. It's gonna actually elongate the length of your beard, get all the curls out and, and things like that, give you your full length so that when you go into the next step of what we're gonna talk about, the, the oils and the conditioning actually soaks into your, to, the, to the hairs of your beard and gives you a nice clean look. <clears throat> so the next thing, after you've washed it, conditioned it, or if it's just your daily routine, you need to get your oils and your balm. Every man that I know that has either thought about growing a beard, that's had a beard, has always had the same complaint. Man, it itches like crazy. I can't stand it. That's what the oil is for. So what most people don't understand is that your, your face gets so dry because the hair in your beard is actually pulling all the nutrients and the oils out of your skin and into the hair of your beard. What the beard oil does, no, it's not for your beard. Sorry, hate to burst your bubble. The beard oil is actually for the skin underneath the beard. It's real simple. You get you a nice little dropper like this. So what, what I like to do is just actually put it right on the skin so that the drops of oil are actually getting behind the beard onto my skin. And then it's real simple. Get in there, massage it into the, the skin under the beard. I know most, most guys think beard oil is for the beard. It is, but it's more so for the skin under your beard. So that way, as the hair begins to grow, it's pulling on the oils that you're adding and not pulling from the oils in your skin. And that way, you won't have that beard itch. You won't have the weird flaky dandruff looking stuff in your beard that just looks really dirty and nasty. But you actually get that nice shine in your beard that allows you to enjoy having a beard all right now you're also noticing here that i've got two oils now for those that don't know i'm an ambassador for a company called the beard struggle so all my products are from them feel free to find whatever product works for you but within the beard struggle they have two oils we've got a daytime oil and a nighttime oil so the nighttime oil which is what i just put on has a little extra stuff in it to help while you're sleeping N nourishes your beard, moisturizes it a little extra while you're sleeping. The daytime oil is actually great because it has some extra stuff in it to help with UV light protection and to keep all the, the heat from damaging your beard while you're outside. Now, the next step in anything that you're going to do, you got to have a good brush. The big thing that you got to find is something with long enough bristles that's going to get into your beard, separate the hairs enough to pull out all the dirt, all the, the, the old oil and the old film that's on your beard from the days before, that's why you need the longer bristles. So that when you go through, it's actually pulling on the hair enough to separate it and get those things out of there. But what it's also doing is it's, it's helping shape what you've already created. So a brush is essential to daily beard care. Like what we're talking about right now is your daily routine. Oils, brush, balm, comb, daily every day 
all day without fail. And next, the balm. So again, what this is gonna do for you is it's another layer of moisture and oil for not only your beard itself, but the skin underneath. Now, what the balm does, it's a little thicker, so it's gonna sit on your beard a little bit longer before it absorbs into your skin. So that's what's gonna give it that nice shiny look, that soft feel, and most balms have a little bit of beeswax in it, so that way it'll help contain some of the flyaways or the stray hairs that pop out. And so it's real simple. You just get a nice little bit, rub it in, get it nice and loose and warmed up, and then you just massage it in. It's real simple. And then, what, what have I done? I've kind of messed up my flow here, so I gotta get the brush again. Bring it back out. Straighten it down. Now, there's a few other things. Most guys don't like to trim their beards, but I'm telling you, it's essential. So, and I don't, and I don't mean like taking inches off. I mean, get you a, a good pair of scissors, little, little hair cutting scissors, and you just kitten some of the flyaways, some of the, the loose ends or the split ends, the tangles, things like that. Nice, even trim, maybe once every other week, get in there and it helps keep the shape of what you've got going on. Now, this is next level. If you, if you don't have your own barber, if you've got enough skill, get you a straight edge razor and you can do this at home. And all you're gonna do is clean up the line with your straight edge. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do this myself. I, I actually have my in-home barber that does it for me. So, shout out to my wife. Now, I forgot about this. This is the this is the this is the real trick. Kick it up a notch. Date night. Going out with your wifey, taking the girlfriend out, and you want that you want that beard to just pop. Get you some wax. So this is a beard and mustache wax. You don't need a lot. This is I mean, I've had this for a while and I ain't used but very little of it. But now what this will do, this will give you a, a hold that'll last all day long and it'll keep you looking right throughout from the morning until the night. Get, get that get that fit on, get that drip like we talked about, and you got that nice look for date night or for, for any special occasion that you need, that's what the wax will help you do. And then, now this is, this is the advanced level stuff. I don't know if y'all can see this, but in my pocket, I got the special travel, travel cone. So now you can't just be leaving the house without any tools. You gotta have a comb in your pocket so that if you know, especially right now when we got to wear these masks, you need to freshen it up, pull the comb out, freshen it up, and boom, pop it right back in. And you are solid. You're good to go. And since I'm talking about the masks, sometimes you got to take it a step ahead and get you a beard mask that has enough hang time that'll hold in that beautiful beard that you got going on, and it won't mess up all the hard work that you did all day. So that's all I got for you. And if you got some questions, feel free to hit me up and I got all the answers that you need. But here's one little thing for you. Be a man, grow a beard.